<laughs> but I mean, yeah. I'm dead, it's happening. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I literally banked all the adrenaline, I think, for like the next two weeks nah. <laughs> for this morning. Stop. So, something. Is that battery definitely gonna last? Because we don't wanna. No, I'm just making sure that anything is left. And mom. This one, it, I it definitely said, it, said it would definitely last, right? Mm -hmm. It would definitely last. I hope so. Well, she but like so. 20 minutes, it will last. 20. But this then one is definitely. Yeah, no, no, that one is full. Yeah. No, that one is full. Oh, yeah. I hope not. I hope we don't have a I hope we don't have a Is it? Okay. Second attempt. Second attempt. You know, I'm just giving you the second attempt. Second attempt, so he's going to. Ask how the first time he says no. This is actually really funny, man. Ask how the first time he says no. Are you sure you This is actually really funny, man. I think we are training there. But we're still going up. I also went to the bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 definitely, but uh, everything is bigger. Okay. Okay. Is this still the same place? I'm fit. See, it's a taxi. No, but when I think my foot might be somewhere that side. Okay. Oh, I'm doing some kind of uh, okay. So um, I wanted to ask what 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 words you have for something that I could put because I have a YouTube channel. So um, it's also kind of my YouTube. So you want to ask me now? Yeah. Well, you you want to think about it? I mean. So, okay. Oh, this is this. I just try to for empty stomach. I'm never in a good mood when I'm hungry. So well, I mean, you, my, still, you still can make a joke, which. This, this is my, my TV smile. I'm just trying to be pleasant right now. <laughs> but I'm starving should we, inside. Should you come back another time when you're less hungry? No, oh, man, I got a power bank in my. It could end up on a face, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm not. Joking is what? Exactly. Taking away the energy. It's taking a lot of energy. Should I stand on the other side of the glass door and you stand inside? Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Um, okay. Just to be safe. Okay. Just to be safe. Do you want me to give you some water? Yeah. We want to do it now or you want to do it later? Is that okay for you, Sam? You can do it outside. Just. Yeah. <laughs> you, you probably like, I'm thinking about going to Hong Kong, you probably think about like, you're 50 to Hong Kong in one year. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to make my gold, bro. It's gold, like, it's gold. Gold, man. <laughs> I don't even do these things. But like, you, oh, I'm saying. It's, it's crazy, bro. It's like... <laughs> it's like um, one of the main points for, for the segment in this kind of play about the situation is that she's actually like, she, she has a very good place for the which I really think that a lot of South African students and a lot of South African youth can really like identify with. And um, I'll just ask you to like maybe look at that camera, like just motivate any student that, you know, could be perhaps struggling um, financially, like academically itself, or even especially with the, with the huge problem that we have, especially like across the country. How would you say as you said yourself that you are passionate yeah. about education and you've graduated yourself, so you know you can pull from your own examples and what you went through yourself. What would you tell a student? Like, you know what it's actually it's actually something that's so intricate in the sense that you can't really just 
dumb it down to a few things. Mm. Um, I'm involved in the education space in a, in a big way personally. I've got a couple um, NGOs that are running right now to help alleviate the um, education gap. Yeah. But, you know, honestly, for all, all those who are out there struggling, um, there really is no copy paste for everyone to try and attach. That's a difficult thing. You know, everyone's got their own situation. Um, but the best thing is to is not let your past, your, your burdens, whatever you're facing, be what determines what you'll achieve in, in the future. And I think in your mind, if you can really understand and grasp the fact that you can still make it happen one way or another if you really do passionately believe and don't give up on what it is that you want to achieve, then you can make it happen. I, there's always there's always a way where there's some sort of will there is a way and i think one of the most beautiful signifiers of that for me is the fact that when you wake up every morning the sun goes up with you even though it, you're going to have those those dark moments when it goes down it's still going to get up and i think that little image of that little glimpse of hope where the sun is usually up longer than it is now um, allows you enough time to actually make things happen for yourself i think when you're putting using every single opportunity to try you know, piece whatever it is you need to together, you know, whether it's through I'm a peace job or whatever it is, to, to gather what you need to, to make what you need to make happen, you can make it happen. Um, unfortunately, there's no, there's no shortcut, there's no easy way, everyone's got their own unique issue, and I think it's important to be sensitive to that, but it all, you know, it all comes down to your will, and I'm just, uh, yeah, I've been blessed to to have always been someone who's taken initiative and never taken no for an answer and had that spirit um, and made things happen for himself. But I've been lucky to have been given an advantage of small things like having a good command of the English language. It's ridiculous that in 2018 in South Africa, people are still being judged on getting a job because they don't speak great English or whatever it is or how they sound, even though they have the intelligence to make anything happen to do the job. Um, you know, there should be an assimilation of people adjusting to vernacular to the English in South Africa, you know? And I think that's one of the sad realities where I, I recognize my privilege in the go and that made things a little bit easier to be able to get work when I was in varsity. But, um, you know, with, with determination, will, perseverance, I think you, your attitude is everything when you just want to keep going up, um, getting up every single day and make things happen. Even till this day, I know I'm still scraping the barrel, I'm trying very hard to keep achieving my dreams, but my main number one goal is to make sure that I go to sleep that day and be the person that I was when I wake up that morning. So I think if you're constantly just working on whatever it is you feel like you need to make happen and keep knocking on that door until you can actually kick it down to achieve what you want to achieve, then people will, will pay attention. That's good too. Um, so what would you say to students who are like struggling between academics and passion in a way that I mean I spoke to some guy here who said that he studied um, uh, accounts, economics, uh, economics yeah. in school and I'm now he's doing photography. And I think most of the time and, and especially because you, oh, yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, hmm. you know you, you get to you go to varsity and you're exposed to a lot of opportunities let, let, let me be honest i don't think i would have been able to interview you today or even have an opportunity to interview mm. Mm. if i had not gone to uh, to UCT and be exposed to you know the wi-fi and being able to, to know about the internet and youtube and all those things so there's that thing or there's that but there's also you wouldn't have been able to do this if you didn't ask <laughs> true <laughs> true That's a problem so many people yes. like Yes. So many people feel like they. Um, what's the word? So many people feel like they need. I don't know. They need things to happen for them. Um, like they. You, you need to give yourself the permission to do, it. to do it. And if you just ask, you never. You never know what can happen. You know. And I know. I know it comes with a lot of rejection, but that's nothing. People are afraid of rejection. But if you just keep embracing that too. So many things come from that. Like the amount of times people have said, I know this is a long shot, but please can I not give a shot? What do you mean? Like, well, you asked, and then you admire people asking, and that's why you asked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually say something that I always sort of try and reiterate to people that I think you should really think about the thing way. So when I was growing up, I really struggled with the notion that I heard from a lot of people. I think I was like seven or eleven. Um, 
big gap there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was there. A lot can happen in there. A lot can happen in four years, exactly, right? <laughs> um, um, I kept hearing people saying, you know, you should have done this not what you know, it's who you know. And I was just like, ah, oh, no, that's, that's not cool. Like, what about the people who actually know stuff and they have the merit to be at a certain place? What about them? Why don't you know someone that, that, that they need that to get someone, right? And I went to my parents and I said, um, I, heard, I heard that being here, people saying it's not what you know, it's who you know. That's not fair. I mean, what about people who, for example, you know? And they're like, you know, sadly, to a certain extent, you, um, you'll understand when you're older, but that's kind of how life works. And I'm like, but that's not how life should work. And my parents were just like, you'll understand when you're older. And I've always tried to figure out what my answer is to that, thing, if that's not the case. And this is exactly how I try and live my life, and how I advise a lot of people to approach things and stop thinking about the fact that because they don't know this person, they'll never get this opportunity, because they don't, they don't this or whatever. It really is because they don't have the audacity. So my whole approach in life is, if you love what you do, if you're passionate about it, you're willing to put in the hours, you're willing to not take no for an answer, and you're willing to be bigger, better, stronger, or, or work harder than anyone else with what you're doing, have a better work ethic, which is my number one thing, then you taint that whole thing from, it's not what you know, it's who you know, into becoming the person that the who you know wants to know because you're so damn good at what you do, so they can't ignore you. So I think if you approach it like that, where you become the person that the who you know wants to know, and then you never have to worry about anything else. So I think with all of that, plus patience, patience, patience. The for the longest time, the oh, not even that, but a lot of people, you know, I think I've been putting in the word, nothing's happening, patience, you know, it's, uh, that whole phone race, phone pace, um, and there's a point where it all comes together, and if you're just willing to just keep working at it, timing is, timing is a big thing as well. Um, I was just laughing at the fact that when I saw you right now, uh, I'm like, I'm Musa, I'm Musa, and then you're like that, I'm like, come on, dude, like, <laughs> 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 I know you. Of course I know you. <laughs> of course I know you. See, but that's, that's another thing, like, for me, um, yeah, the, day, the day I would have lost the plot, the day I stopped introducing myself to someone, the day I stopped introducing myself to someone, then I tell myself that I've made it, but, don't you think you've made it? No, not at all, actually. I did. Mm. Mm. No, no, not at all. That's why you work so hard now. I mean, that's <laughs> like, yeah. That's, yeah, no. No, I think, uh, I think those people also have a warm, warm sense of having made it as well. Yeah. You know, the world is big out there. Uh, maybe I've maybe made it on my street. Mm. Or maybe, uh, <laughs> no. maybe at home or something. But, um, no, there's just so many things, things. Uh, and I always try to push myself. And the target is always so much more. So as soon as you achieve something, the target is But besides that, like I've I've grown up on doing the basics really well and never forgetting um, to treat people with respect <coughs> and as as equals, you know, so that we can speak on this level. As soon as you introduce myself and I don't introduce myself to you, then there's a power trip happening there and there's a disconnect and I um, can't actually have this human to human conversation with me. Yeah. Um, and you end up missing out on so much more because you you end up you are struggling to hear what you could be hearing because you're trying to hear it from up from, there from up there and not actually paying attention to you not actually hearing what you're saying. And there's always lessons to lessons to be learned. So, um Right, let's fix this. Let's just fix this. Well, back to studio. Um, wait, is my room actually a studio? Google, what is a studio? Studio, a room where an artist, photographer, sculptor, etc. works. Oh, I guess it is. First of all, guys, I have to apologize. I'm so sorry for being in my air for such a long time. School is real, and, um, yeah, like. This. But um, the reason why I said back to studio is because uh, if you listened to the interview I had with Maps, okay, it wasn't an interview. Well, I mean, the chats, whatever, man, whatever you want to call that. Yeah, if you listened to, to that, I might have alluded to a segment about motivation on the channel. Um, 
guys 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 please forget about that it's a project that i'm still working on um i wanted to keep it a secret but it was, it was difficult to keep it a secret obviously as you can see uh please forget about that and the reason why i'm telling you this is because i really truly um appreciate your support and i want to let you know what is going on but on the other hand about the support guys thank you so 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 much we've actually reached 300 subscribers in the channel it's like <laughs> On the channel! 300 subscribers! Okay, wait. 300 subscribers on the channel! Not one of them, not two, but three. 10 people to come to my channel. Okay, guys, thank you so much for the support. Um, I truly appreciate it. Guys, please, 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 please. <laughs> Go in the description below. There's links to my Twitter and to my Instagram. On Twitter, I am Mkize underscore Msa. And on Instagram, I am Msa Mkize. In fact, guys, I have more, <laughs> I have more subscribers than <laughs> my Twitter follow. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Let's think of laughing at myself. Let's just stop. Okay. Uh, but yeah, guys, please head over there and follow um, so that you may know what I am doing where and where I am And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell for notifications. Wait, why am I saying this? Let Maps say it, man What's up guys? This is Maps Mabunani and I'm in Cape Town right now This is Sam Kiza. Subscribe to his page on YouTube, his YouTube channel Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe on Twitter, Mkize underscore Msa and on Instagram, Sam Kiza. Make sure it's the feature right there <laughs>